Hello traders, welcome to Simple Trading Style and today we are going to talk about daily stock market update and we will figure out is it still bull market or it is still bearish reversal. Let's do technical analysis review and we will figure out. As usually, let's move to my 5 rules of risk management. Please read it and follow it every single trade and you will be successful. Now it's a time for Vibo. Let's start from, from the Vibo. If you want to learn more about Vibo setup, just go to the description. There is the link about Vibo setup training and other links about all my trainings. Now let me briefly mention about my setup. I'm using simple moving averages. Uh, white line SMA 200, purple line SMA 100, blue line SMA 50, yellow line SMA 20, red line SMA 10 and green line SMA 5. Below yellow line RSI line. No, below, yeah, green line RSI. Okay, two more indicators, MACD and RSI. That's all. Very simple. It's not easy because emotions involved. If you follow the indicators, you will be successful because indicators do not have emotions. Like on my chart, you see here green line, uh, MA5 did bullish crossover over red. It was bullish trend. While bars above MA5, above green line, it is bullish trend. So far, last bar still above all moving averages, still bullish trend. RSI you see in the overbought territory, MACD in overbought territory, RSI in overbought territory, but MA5 and 10 did bullish crossover, it is bullish trend for USA dollar, USA dollar is still bullish. It should be bearish for equities, but so far equities is bullish too. Now let's move to NASDAQ, NASDAQ, uh, triple Q uh, ETF, the last bar, you see yesterday, two days, it was red, two red bars, they moved to, let's see, they moved below MA5 and 10, and today it did blow off top, it did a uh, recent high, and bearish divergence on all indicators, but trend still bullish. Still bullish on daily time frame, it left some gap below, but trend is bullish. Four hours time frame. Four hours time frame. You see, it was completely bearish, and it did huge bounce. And today, it moved about all moving averages. It is price action. It was uptrend. MACD downtrend. RSI downtrend. Bearish divergence, but still bullish reversal signal. And one hour time frame also powerful bullish reversal it could be a bull trap it could do reversal but so far as of now bullish setup sma 20 is bullish crossover it is positive bullish setup bullish trend vxn volatility index for nasdaq daily time frame last bar above all moving averages still in a bullish territory still bullish trend S&P 500, SPX, MA5 did bearish crossover, last bar, just moved recently, for it, but it did get bounce, let me, let's find it, it did get bounce from MA20, from yellow line, it didn't make all time new high, it didn't make all time new high also, but it did recent high. Uh, uh, S&P 500 still sideways on daily. On four hours time frame, after the bearish reversal, bearish crossover, I still believe it's a bearish because MA5 and 10 did bearish crossover over 20. It is negative. Today it was a bull trap. It definitely will continue bearish reversal. Yeah, we'll see. I consider it's a bull trap. And one hour time frame, bullish reversal, bullish crossover, last bar above all moving averages. VIX volatility index for, uh, for S&P 500, still last bar around below SMA 20, still sideways, no fear. Dow Jones, DIA. MA5 did bearish crossover and last bar below all below S below MA20 below yellow line. It is bearish trend. 
very strength, still very strength for Dow Jones. Four hours time frame, also still very strength. Last bar touched the MA20 yellow line, it was rejected. One hour time frame. It did nice positive bull run. It touched this MA50 blue line and it was rejected. Bearish reversal, bearish trend. Dow Jones bearish on all time frames. VXD, volatility index for Dow Jones, still sideways. IWM, Russell 2000 daily, it's in the reversal stage. MA5 did bearish crossover, still in the bearish reversal signal. Four hours time frame. Uh, MA5 did bullish crossover, nice bounce. It was nice bounce from a MA200. But so far it is still dancing around MA20. One hour time frame after the nice bounce, nice bull run, it touched MA200. It was strong resistant line, it, did, it, it received rejection, and now it's back. Okay, it is bearish, right? And for S&P 500, uh, we see it was a gap over here, gap down. That's what SPX left a couple days ago. And today it filled that gap, created gap up below. That's what I think on Monday it will, it will fill that gap. But the gap is uh, about was filled already. Okay, S&P 500 and Qs are positive. Dow Jones and IWM kind of uh, bearish. Apple, Apple. Let's start Apple daily. Apple daily. After reversal yesterday, touched the yeah, MA20 blue line. I'm sorry, blue yellow line. And today it bounced from that line. Still in a positive territory, but all ready for bearish reversal. Four hours time frame. For several bars, it was dancing around at the MA100 level. It's a strong support line. And today did nice bounce. Nice bounce. Now we touched MA50 and MA20. It's a strong resistance level. Would be rejection. One hour time frame after the huge sell off yesterday, it did bounce today, and now it's in the bullish, bullish round. Apple in the bullish round, one hour time frame. Tesla also positive. Let's see. Tesla did huge gap up yesterday and still in the in the bull mode, you see it just recent high, still bullish crossover, bullish trend, that gap will be filled. This is very powerful, huge gap, like $24 gap, like 10% gap, it will be filled. Four hours time frame, bullish trend, and one hour time frame, Tesla bullish trend. Get like one at uh, one hour time frame, yeah. Bullish, so bullish is building bearish divergence. RSI in the overbought territory. Let's see on one four hours time frame, RSI in overbought territory, and daily it's just close to overbought territory. Nvidia, Nvidia daily last bar still about all moving averages, still in the bullish territory, bullish trend. RSI close to overbought territory. Four hours time frame. Bullish reversal on four hours after the sell off. We did bullish reversal on four hours. And one hour time frame after sell off, it did bounce. And now last bar about all moving averages still in the bullish territory. RSI in the overbought territory. And it's created. Yeah. 
it's building bearish divergence. Nvidia, Microsoft, let's move Microsoft. All Mega 7 today are, are green, all bullish. Microsoft daily last bar above all moving averages, bullish trend on all indicators, four hours time frame. Last bar above all moving averages, also bullish trend with bearish divergences. Trend is bullish and one hour time frame. RSI in the overbought territory, bearish divergence on all indicators. Last bar above all moving averages, bullish trend. Amazon, Amazon daily. Yesterday it was below MA20, below yellow line, it was in the bearish territory. Today it gap up and now it's about all moving averages, bullish territory, bullish trend. And four hours time frame, last bar about all moving averages, bullish trend. One hour time frame, same. The last bar about all moving averages, bullish trend. Let's see if I can achieve bars. Let's see if I can achieve bars, show us trend direction, right? And now let's move Amazon, Google. Google, Google daily. Daily Google is a sideways around the mate wonky. Google is no positive mode, still sideways. Four hours time frame, last bar just moved about all moving averages. Bullish reversal trend. One hour time frame, last bar about all moving averages, bullish trend and RSI touched over bad territory. And meta, meta daily. MA5 tenant bars below 20, it is bearish territory, bearish trend on daily. On four hours time frame, it did bullish crossover, bullish reversal, it touched MA50 and MA100. It's a strong resistant lines. It could be resistant from that lines, from these both lines. One hour time frame, bullish trend, and also it touched MA200, MA200 strong resistant, like it did recently, you see it did touch MA200, and it was rejected. Similar can happen here now again. RSI in the overbought territory, same overbought territory was here, and it was rejected. Bullish trend on one hour time frame. That's all. That's all from my side. Like I said, dollar is bullish. The US and S&P 500 still bullish. And Dow Jones and, and uh, Russell 2000 IWM bearish. But all mega seven stocks still bullish, especially on one hour and four hours time frame. We'll see it could be a bull trap. We'll see it on next week on Monday. Will it do reversal or it will continue bullish trend? That's all. Let's move to my disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor. This video for educational and informational purposes only. Remember, for educational purpose, we are using paper training simulator. Thank you for watching simple trading style videos. I do publish daily, weekly, monthly updates for stocks, ETFs, indexes, and cryptos. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Click like button to support this channel. I really appreciate all your efforts. Thank you so much and good luck. Bye now.